Hey everybody, uh, another edition of the Ramen Taste Test. I'm here with my wife Erin and our dog Julep, who are off camera. We my can dog. probably put Julep on camera. Come on. Oh, it's a Julep! <laughs> She's a good little doggy. And uh, today we've got one of these famous ramen instant noodle bowls I'm always talking about with the with the mayonnaise. You can see the mayonnaise right on the box. And it's got some crazy title. What is it? Fried noodle with sauce, big sauce yakisoba with mayo. That's how you know the mayonnaise is in there. It's when it says there's mayonnaise in there. I don't know why it took me so long to learn that. but So we're going to make one of these because I, I had one once in my life before and they're really good. And when I talk about a ramen that comes with everything, it's sort of one of these style ones. Uh, it's got the mayonnaise picture right on the, that was, that was what Aaron figured out was that you look for a ramen package that has a little bottle of mayonnaise on the picture. And then you know that there might be mayonnaise in it because the translation isn't always right on the back. So we'll see how many packets there are in here. Hopefully there's a bunch. The more the merrier. It's got directions. We've got the water going this time. We've got a fork. We're going to do it with a fork regardless of if anybody complains about it. Because you don't want to see me use chopsticks. So this looks like the mayonnaise. This is definitely seasoning. We'll see what we get in the seasoning packet. The seasoning packet is completely brown. No vegetables or anything. Ooh, it smells good though. It smells like five spice, five spice powder. It kind of looks like five spice powder too. The dog would also like to try some ramen. I don't think you'll like it as much as you think it will. But we're always on the quest for good ones. We've got one more mayonnaise ramen in stock when uh, someone wants to come and grab it. So. I've got a couple other ones that I got at Wajimaya. We've got some Chef Morimoto ramen and all kinds of exciting things to try. So I recommend all of, all of our customers come buy one of these. Is it boiling yet? Sounds like it. No, not quite boiling yet. So we'll kill some more time. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I've been hunting around for lots of good ramen. The tough part, we don't carry more ramen because we can't find it a lot of times. Like it's sold out or hard to get or different companies have different kinds of ramen. So as much as we try to keep it current, we don't always get the chance. I'm gonna check the directions here. We put the packet in, we add the water, we let it sit. Uh, ooh, this is a dump out the water one. This has like a filter. See here, this is like a water filter that you use to put the water in and then filter out the water to make the noodles. So that's one of these high-tech ramens that is really going for, to compete with your sit-down restaurant establishments. So I think we're boiling now. Maybe. We're getting closer. Yeah, we're boiling. We're gonna call that boiling. So we'll put this in, let it sit for a little bit. It's gonna be worth every penny, I'm sure. <laughs> I can't wait to use the filter. But you don't sell these here, right? You're just tasting a bunch of different ones? We do sell this one. So we have one more of these from the from what we got at Wajimaya. So I'll sell the other one. And then um, and then uh, we have a couple different. The Morimoto stuff is new. We got another one of those weird chicken. You know, let me go grab that guy. I'll come back with the chicken one. 